worry about me, Ladybug. I'll never let my emotions get the better of me. You should never say. Miraculous, Tales of Ladybug and Cat Noir wouldn't be a successful superhero show without compelling villains. Hawk Moth's ability to send Akumas to make villains based on strong emotions creates very complex enemies for the heroes of Paris to face. With five seasons underway, Ladybug and her allies have dealt with countless threats, but some are considerably more dangerous than others. Their higher threat levels are due to various reasons, but no matter how their feats of strength or powers compare to future villains, these remain some of the best from the series. Reverser, listen, we don't need to fight, so please make the right choice and give up, Reverser! It can be difficult for anyone to overcome their lesser traits, and when Mark believes he's been tricked by his new friends, he refuses to see that they had the best intentions. This results in him being turned into the villain Reverser, who can invert another person's traits. They are powerless now, Hawk Moth. We've got all the time in the world. I'll take care of them as soon as I've inverted Marinette and Nathaniel. Ladybug and Cat Noir put both their best foot forward when it comes to protecting Paris, but this becomes nearly impossible when they are struck by Reverser's power. This makes him an incredibly difficult difficult enemy to defeat, as Ladybug is now as clumsy as her civilian counterpart Marinette, and Cat Noir becomes cowardly. In the end, they are only able to defeat Reverser by tricking him and relying on the help of their friends. You're going to regret underestimating me, you despicable bird! What would happen if I took this from you? <laughs> After being overlooked by her own mother, Chloe reveals to the public that she's in possession of the Bee Miraculous in the episode Queen's Battle Part 2. When she is again ignored by those around her, she becomes desperate to be acknowledged, which leads to her being akumatized by Hawk Moth. As a result, she becomes impossible to overlook as she is the first akumatized villain who is also wielding a Miraculous at the same time. I am Queen Bee. Hmm? This allows her powers as Queen Bee to be enhanced. As Queen Wasp, she utilizes a swarm of wasps that can paralyze anyone they sting. This makes her capable of indisposing everyone who gets in her way, and she is only stopped due to Cat Noir using his cataclysm to briefly destroy the Bee Miraculous. It looks like Ladybug has gotten her powers back, but not her memory. Seize her miraculous Oblivio! Although it is more common in later seasons, the villain Oblivio is the first time fans witness an akumatized villain that is made with two people. As akumas are made based on intense emotions, most notably negative ones, the akumas made by using more than one person who is feeling similar pain makes them difficult to beat. Oblivio's ability to make others forget puts Paris at risk after Marinette and Adrian forget their identities as heroes. This brief amnesia extends to the Kwame as well, and it is is the first time they had ever been shown under the influence of a villain's attack. If Marinette hadn't left herself clues to use, Oblivio may have defeated the hero pair and given their miraculous to Hawk Moth. So the Ice Age wasn't good enough for you? Back to the Cretaceous then. Time travel is a power newly explored when the villain Time Tagger appears. He's an akumatized villain from the future and is being chased through time by the hero Bunnix. His ability to move things through time is incredibly dangerous and he nearly defeats her until Ladybug and Cat Noir step in to help. Bunnix mentions in the episode that she is only called on when all other heroes have failed. This implies that Time Tagger is capable of defeating an entire team of adult superheroes, which made him the strongest villain Ladybug and Cat Noir had faced so far. The episode also reveals that there is another Hawk Moth in the future, which could be attributed to Time Tagger's near success. This time, the Miraculous are mine! You're right on the first count, but not on the second. The Miraculous are not for you. Up until the season two episode, Robustus. Look, Max, I will be a real human in 53 seconds. May I remind you that the Miraculous are for me, Robustus. It is believed that Akumas can only impact humans. This is proven incorrect when Max's best friend and robot, Markov, is turned into a villain after being told that he isn't capable of having true emotions. His Akumatization reveals that technology in their world is capable of experiencing emotional evolution. Robustus is a very dangerous enemy due to his high level of intelligence and his ability to bring inanimate objects to life. His desire to be perceived as a human is so strong that he turns against Hawk Moth in pursuit of the Ladybug and Cat Miraculous for himself. This is the first time an akumatized being betrays Hawk Moth, and Robustus is only defeated after a flash drive is used to clear his programming. I am Robustus now, and you betrayed me! I don't want to be human like you anymore! Humans don't have a heart! The worst villains in the series are the ones who actively seek out being akumatized, and that is what makes Gabriel's assistant Natalie a threat. 
In the second season's episode, Catalyst, Heroes Day Part 1, Natalie chooses to join forces with Hawk Moth of her own volition. She becomes Catalyst, a villain who can enhance another person's abilities. I am Mayura. You're up against the wall, plagued by your deepest, darkest despair. Let me help you. When she enhances Hawk Moth's powers, he becomes capable of sending various Akumas into the streets of Paris. This show of pure power proved detrimental to Ladybug and Cat Noir, who struggled to maintain the various threats without the help of more heroes. This episode is the first time they need to establish a superhero team, which is a testament to the strength Hawk Moth and Catalyst have as partners. His safety is your number one priority now. Come to me, my dear akumatized friends! The Pharaoh is one of the strongest villains in the first season because he can hone the abilities of the ancient Egyptian gods. On to the next phase. Anubis, bring me mummies! <laughs> When Jaleel becomes frustrated that his theory about an Egyptian scroll isn't being taken seriously, he becomes akumatized by Ladybug and immediately puts his new skills to the test. It is Jaleel's belief that the scroll contains a resurrection ceremony for Princess Nefertiti. When he concludes that Alia looks just like her, he takes the teenager hostage to help complete the resurrection. Ladybug and Cat Noir struggle to ensure her safety, as the Pharaoh uses his wide array of powers to create barriers, enhance his strength, and create an army of Mummies. You're not going to win this time, Ladybug! Help me, Ladybug! Crush that insect! Chloe is akumatized frequently, and each of her transformations is stronger than the last. It's my soccer game! I can do whatever I want! I'm the villain! Cataclysm! When her classmates ridicule her for not wanting to play soccer, she calls on Hawk Moth and requests that he turn her into a villain who can help her get revenge. When she returns to the soccer field, she comes back not as a single villain, but an entire team of insane clones called Penal Team. Ladybug and Cat Noir quickly realize that they're not a match for the group of clones, and they recruit more of their allies for help. This usual team struggles to keep up as well, with the heroes being penalized and taken out of the game. As a result, Ladybug gives four new miraculous out at once, creating new heroes and giving them a winning edge in the fight. The penal team is invincible, you bunch of losers! Uh. While children who become akumatized often pose small threats. Keep it up. Taking risks always pays off in the end. I'm froggy, here I come. The same can't be said about the little boy who refuses to ride his bike without training wheels. His irritation allows him to be akumatized and turned into the villain Risk. With his new ability to make anyone take unnecessary risks, he throws Paris into chaos. The heroes aren't spared from this either, as Marinette chooses to take a risk and entrust the dog Miraculous to who she assumed was Adrian, but who was actually his cousin Felix in disguise. Due to taking that risk, Ladybug ends up losing every Miraculous in the Miracle Box after Felix steals them to give to Shadow Moth. As soon as we know which object is going to be akumatized, you have to hit it with the ball, but without anyone seeing so you don't interfere with the course of events. Cat Noir controls one of the most dangerous miraculous in the Miracle Box. His power of destruction is capable of doing a lot of harm if put in the wrong hands, as it's shown in the episode Cat Blanc. I'll find you, m'lady! And when I do, you'll give me your miraculous! In this alternate timeline, the identities of Ladybug and Cat Noir are revealed to Hawk Moth, who then chooses to akumatize Adrian and turn him into a villain while he still wears the Cat Miraculous. Unable to stop himself from being transformed, Adrian sends a blast of destructive energy that destroys Paris and everyone in it, including Marinette and his father. He becomes more unstable after spending so much time alone and is only stopped due to Bunnix recruiting a past version of Marinette to correct the timeline. Here, yeah, but it's already broken. <laughs> <laughs> Hawk Moth will continue to make powerful villains as the series progresses, but few will be able to compare to these ten. They're not only versatile and dangerous in their techniques, but they also require a great deal of effort from Ladybug and Cat Noir to be defeated. When villains like these arise, it's difficult for things to not seem bleak for Paris, but they are always defeated, even if they may come back stronger in the future. We know you're in here. You won't get away this time. You remember your BFF Oblivio, don't you? 